Hello and welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're taking a look at Magneto Remixed, but not in an R. Kelly way. Never in an R. Kelly way. Yo, kill me with this. First of all, roll those credits. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So first things first, let's take a quick look around this model and then we can talk about it. So, okay, um, I, I love this model for a couple of reasons. So one is because it is because I do genuinely love Magneto, the character. I love that if, if you actually read the comic books, the journey that his character has been on from being in concentration camps to being essentially a metahuman and being one of the only class, I think he's one of the only class four uh, mutants other than Professor X. He's incredibly strong. I, 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 really, I really love the character in the story. This is one of the first times that um, I worked with uh, Arif, who works at 3D Filiprint, link in the video description, and he did a remix for me. So the model itself was a private commission on one of our groups. It was a copy, I believe, of an XM Studios model, but I really didn't like the head. And we had a bust of Ian, an Ian McKellen head that came from um, that came from CG Trader. So. Arif managed to remix the head from that Magneto and stick it on this one, and he got the proportions just right. And it does look just like Ian McKellen, bar my terrible paint job. You know, it, it, I'm really, really happy with it. Lots and lots of detail in this model, which I really, really like. The red came out pretty much how I wanted it to. The purple didn't really. So I was really hoping for like metallic-y colors. These aren't really metallic-y colors, so it didn't 100% come out the way that I wanted it to, but I still love the model. I still love that it's got a big sentinel hand and he's got Wolverine's head here for no real explainable reason. Wolverine's got a dog collar on. Why? Because he's Magneto and he can do that. He's just got those sort of powers. You know, I really, I, I really love the creativity of the model. I love the posing. I love the way the model did come out in the end. It, 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 it's a big one, and again, this is a classic example, uh, once again, of another time where we commissioned an artist to do work for us. The artist does beautiful 3D renderings, and then when it comes time to make something 3D printable, it, it's kind of a garbage fire. So this model, a lot of stuff almost fits in due to friction alone. So it, it sort of, it goes together in a very specific order. The problem is, is that none of that order makes sense. So like the fingers going on, that's fine. Building the throne, that's fine. But like uh, you have to put the, 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 to get the cape on, the cape's in two parts. You have to fit the cape to the base for it to fit in because it has to sort of slide in, but then you can't slide the character into the cape. So the cape, so you have to sort of like force the cape to fit on this model first and then try and force it into the throne so that he sits properly and it kind of throws the pose off a little bit. But that being said, you know, the model is really, really good. I really, really like it. Um, let me know in the comments whether or not you think it's a good model. Let me know whether you think Ian McKellen made an absolutely amazing Magneto because if he didn't, you should probably unsubscribe because I, I don't want to know you. He was an amazing Magneto. What are you talking about? Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel, unless you didn't like Magneto. Um, and definitely ring the bell so that you get notifications about our latest models. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time.